Roman citizen, so he was a Gentile, but he was also a Jew. Uh, so the pattern is that God is not a respecter of persons. He is willing to save all who believe, both Jew and Gentile. And he started with Paul as an example, someone who would be considered, who was a Jew, but also had Roman citizen, citizenship or Gentile citizenship. Uh, so the point of today is really that the mystery dispensation begins in Acts 9 with the Apostle Paul. Um, next week we'll finish the rest of the outline because it really what people will say about us is that we're elevating Paul. You know why? It was only to Paul that God revealed this mystery. And then Paul goes out and tells others. He calls it my gospel. And a lot of the criticism that we get is us saying that Paul is our apostle today. You know, why, why are you following man? Why are you following Paul instead of following God? Uh, and so we'll get into that next week. Really the answer is we are following God because it's God who put Paul in that position. Um, it's not what man did. Paul didn't do it himself. No one else did it was you know, a direct revelation of Jesus Christ. The Lord himself called him from heaven on the Damascus road. And he says, you are a chosen vessel. So we'll go over that next week. But at least I hope these scriptures at least show uh, that the mystery dispensation began in Acts chapter 9, uh, not later. Uh, because how else are you going to explain like, the passages that we saw in Acts chapter 10? If the gospel of the kingdom is still going on in Acts chapter 10, well then... The gospel, something, something changed because they've got the Holy Ghost before they were even water baptized. And according to what God said in Acts 2.38, that's not possible under the kingdom program. So there had to be a change, and it had to have taken place in Acts 9 before verse 26 um, for the mystery dispensation to be, to be revealed to Paul and then also by the holy apostles and prophets after that. So now that by the time you get to Acts 10, all of the prophets at that time confirm that the gospel of grace that's being preached is from God and it's a change in program. So we'll cover Paul being our apostle next time, but let's go ahead and close with a word of prayer. Uh, dear Lord, I thank you for your word, for the revelation that you've given to Paul, and help us to see him as, as the messenger to us so that we may be, believe what he has what he says for us, or what you say for us through your word, through those instructions in Romans through Philemon, that we may follow those, come into the knowledge of truth, and be edified so that we may serve you. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.